I think it's really important that Canadians have confidence in our government. I met with the Ethics Commissioner today to, uh, to talk to her about her recommendations she's made for me to make sure I'm free of conflicts, confirm that you know, I've been following her recommendations for the last uh, couple of years, and also talk to her about my intent going forward. So the fact that my family and myself want to sell all of our shares in, uh, in Warner Chappelle, the fact that we want to move forward with a blind trust. And I informed her that I'd like, uh, I'd like and my family would like to make sure that we donate any difference in value uh, that those shares have, have had since I came into office to charity. Uh, from my perspective, uh, working together with her, she confirmed that uh, she thought these actions were appropriate. Uh, that allowed me to work together with her immediately to uh, move forward. I think what we saw today was an admission of guilt. From my experience, people don't generally pay a fine or a fee if they're innocent of something. Mr. Morneau only admitted to each of these steps along the way, the French villa, the shares that were not in a blind trust, only after reporters first dug into the story and found out the truth of the matter. He told us that the things were going to go into a blind share, they didn't. He didn't tell us or the ethics commissioner about the French villa, then he had to admit to it. He's in a conflict of interest that he introduced a bill that helped his own personal wealth grow substantially. And now he's saying, I gotta put some guilt money together and try to buy my way out of this problem, a problem of his own making. Well, I think that without a shadow of a doubt, to the, to, today the minister confirmed that he was in a real, true, profitable conflict of interest for the last two years. Because he's doing now what we're asking for so many times. So, first of all, he, re he represent that. But the other, the other point is that he only hacked when he's trapped in the corner. Because we had a lot of pressure from the House of Commons, from our party, day after day, finally he realized that he should have done that two years before.